Hi guys, it's Monica. Welcome to my vlog. These last two weeks, you're going to see glimpses of my life, have been crazy. I broke my do not buy. Oh, it was so bad. I, I'm on a self-imposed do not buy. That went right out the window. I broke that. And um, so I have a new foundation, color, a couple of new other products that I'm going to talk about throughout the vlog. And you're going to see a little bit, a little bit of the beach and a little bit of me being sick. So anyways, if you're interested in seeing my life as it kind of unfolded these last two weeks, stay tuned. But obviously, before you do that, I just want to tell you, thank you all so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you. And if you have any suggestions or any questions, leave questions below in the comment and I'll do a future video trying to answer a number of the questions. I think that'd be kind of cool. So thank you so much for watching my vlog and without any further, what is that word? I do? I do? No. Delay? I like delay. That's easier. Without any further delay, here's my vlog for the last two weeks. So I just got home from the hairdressers and she she gave me a very slight trim and touched up my grays. A couple of foils and then the Groucho Max eyes, well, eyebrows. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I took a picture of myself with those eyebrows on, it's like unreal. Anyway, what is she doing to me? Did you not hit the button? Yeah, I did. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so she's taking nice big sections. <laughs> so you're probably just going to show us that kind of thing. Yeah. I just wanted to show. Yeah. Yeah. Because even like when I went to get room, yeah. if I could awesome. <laughs> Looks good. Perfect. Very ackee coconut. I think it's a coconut. I just really don't like the taste of this. It, it's like, ugh. But I'm not too sure if it's supposed to taste good. I just know it's supposed to be good for you, but I don't know if it's supposed to taste good. So I'm going to try to finish it. I have that much more to go. Wish me luck. Happy hump day, guys. It is Wednesday, and it's a sunny day. I can't believe it. I'm so excited because we've had rain, mm -hmm. ice storm, drizzle. We've just had the most crappiest spring ever, but today is going to be a nicer day. I've got an office meeting. And then I'm doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching with an agent. But I am wearing, in honor of Barbara Bush, I'm wearing my mother's pearls. Well, they're really my pearls because she gave them to me, but they're my mother's pearls. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to wear them in honor of Barbara Bush today. Rest in peace. And, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Jay's golfing tonight and this morning. He's going for, can you believe it, a golf lesson. So he's going to have more of a golf day today, a fun day. I'm going to be working, but I think I'm going to try to do something special tonight. <laughs> we'll see. What you doing over there, honey? Trying to cut the, uh... You're trying to manage the... Uh... You got to... Oh, my God. These are so outgrown. So Jay and I are off to uh, teach the full day Saturday pre-licensing this class 9 and 10. So this wraps the 40-hour required course up for a lot of our students. Plus we have some other people joining the class too. So it's going to be hectic. I'm trying to pack up all my stuff to carry to work. And um, yeah, so and then tonight we're, we're going out to dinner to a friend's house that um, actually a schoolmate. So when we went to our awards banquet, we realized that a bunch of us sitting at the same table graduated the same year or close to the same year at the same high school. So we talked about as couples going out. Whoops, almost tripping. We talked about as couples going out, and tonight is the night, but we're just going to go to one of, the, um, one of their houses, not going out to dinner. So that should be fun <sighs> and I have a lot of a lot of prep work to do for a class on Monday so it's gonna be a hectic hectic Saturday for me but yeah and and the most exciting thing is that um, it stopped snowing <laughs> we think the snow has ended um, I'm hoping for good so yesterday we we actually 
I, I actually yesterday afternoon did a little bit of the motorhome. I stripped the beds. I washed all the sheets. They're all over there. And, you know, before I put it out and make the bed after being cooped up for the whole season, we like to refresh it, even though we left it fairly clean, except for the clutter. <laughs> But we do like to refresh it, so I'm going to still wash everything down before I bring it, you know, the sheets out and vacuum the whole thing. And then Jay trimmed the raspberry bushes, so we get that done. But uh, we are, like, so far behind in any kind of yard work. It, just the weather hasn't cooperated. It's cold, but um, I don't know. And next weekend is supposed to be our shakedown cruise. I don't know. I'm hoping we make it. If the weather's really cold, I don't know if we'd want to be on the beach or not with the motorhome. That's my Saturday. I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm being too, super, super silly. I'm just dancing around my house. It's Sunday morning and Jake got up like super early. We were at friends last night and we just, we had a great time. They have the most gorgeous house. It's like antique, it's got amazing, amazing, amazing antique furniture. Anyways, we had a blast. She made me this drink, I don't know what it was, but I got phew, a little bit um, inebriated. And so Jay got up like super early this morning and he went golfing. And I'm just dancing around my living room. And yeah, just dancing around my living room like a total fool. But I'm gonna go out and tackle some something in the motorhome so we can hopefully go camping next weekend. I'm like so psyched. I haven't done anything yet. My hair's just my hair. I do have my mascara on, obviously. Oh, and I have a mark up here that I've been watching now for like about almost two months. It hasn't changed. That's good, I guess. But I don't know. It's, at first I thought it was a zit, but it isn't. It's like this just red thing. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't know, I'm a little, I don't know, a little worried. Not much, just a little. So anyways, I'm going to go tackle the motorhome. I'll probably be dancing around my house for a while. I should actually get on my elliptical. That's what I should do. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm off to Belmont. I'm teaching, um, I need to. The color looks weird. Oh. Hmm. New blush. Old lips. <laughs> Oh, new blush, old lips. <laughs> I think it's going to be one of those weeks, so I'm off to Belmont. I am teaching the New Hampshire core class, and then I'm doing a workshop on clauses and contingencies. And um, yesterday I worked really hard on the motorhome all day. So I'm like super excited because I think if the weather stays the way it is, you're going to see some beach clips in this vlog. Yeah, that'll be exciting for me anyways. So I drove from the Belmont office to the Meredith. No, well, I'm in Meredith, but I'm going to the Moulton Borough office. So I just went through Meredith and into Center Harbor, and I just thought I'd stop here at the boat launch. But it's like wicked windy out there, so I'm not going to be able to film, and I only have a few minutes, but I'm going to just kind of scan out the window so you can get a little bit of an idea of what it looks like where I'm at. So you can see big boat over there and there's a dock. Lake Winnipesaukee is huge and a little beach area and a playground. I am not wearing a jacket and I am wearing open toe sandals. It's still chilly but it's a lot nicer than it has been. It's a rainy hump day and I'm heading actually to our Portsmouth office where I'm gonna be teaching a class and Jay is supposed to golf today but a rainy start to the day so I don't know if that's gonna happen <laughs> he's been working in the yard and it really kind of stinks because we should have been at the beach but we made the decision yesterday not to go to the beach based on the weather that we had yesterday and the, you know predictions for the weekend but um, it's a beautiful beautiful Saturday so we're gonna meet up with friends for dinner in Epping, and then Jay's gonna take me to Elta. <laughs> yes, Elta. Elta, Elta, baby, Elta. And then we, I'm sure you'll want to go to Marshalls. Uh, yeah. And, and then we might go. We we're not too sure. We haven't really made a decision. We might go to the movies. Um, Chappaquiddick. Is that playing? <laughs> that plays. Oh, sorry. That's at seven thirty. 
so we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. And, um, yeah. So, didn't get no beach vlogging in for you guys. No beach. No golf vlogging. Well, you don't golf vlog that much anyways. So, we're off and running. Ciao. Catch you later. Jay took the motor home to the beach this morning. He left maybe about um, 15 minutes ago. <coughs> Sorry. And he is going to try to get us inside the campground so we can have a, uh, hopefully a waterfront row site um, or one back. And I'm going to head over there, pick him up after he hooks it up, pick him up, bring him back home because we don't have a tow set up yet on the rig um, with our new cars. Um, so, um, <laughs> I'm so excited. I do have to work today. I do have a bad ear infection. I'm going to call the doctor. I might go have that checked out because it's not really getting better on its own. And I have I have a history with this ear ever since I one time uh, flew to Florida and it uh, burst on me down in Florida when we were camping. It was not a good time. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to pick him up, come back home, head into the office, work um, take care of some stuff I can work remotely and then I'm going to try to go to the doctors and then go to the beach. So I decided to just show you a little bit of what the drive looks like as I'm heading over to Hampton Beach. The bridge ahead is a drawbridge that raises and lowers depending on the tide and the boat traffic. And if you look closely, you can see the campground right along the mouth of the ocean. That's Hampton Harbor and the Atlantic Ocean. I'm going to turn into the opening of the campground and I'm, you know, didn't want to really drag it out, so I did do double speed here for you. But as I get to the opening, you can see Jay is pulling up ahead of me. And then he's going to back into the campsite that we were assigned. So we pulled in. He's going to extend the slide out, I think, over here. Oh, it's out already. <clears throat> so this is site number nine, Hampton Beach. Not a bad site at all, huh, honey? Yeah, I think you like it. Oh. I wish we had 13, but... Yeah, 13 would have been nice, but this is awesome fire pit. Of course, we don't have any wood with us. And this is where I'm going to be walking in the morning. Right out to the ocean. A little walkway here is open for all the campers. You can see the jetty. And there's the bridge I came over. So, we obviously haven't set up, but look at the water. You can see it right from inside. I'm going to take you down the hallway into the bedroom. Whoops. And uh, here's my views. <laughs> because I sleep on what we call curbside. Jay sleeps on driver's side. Curbside. Awesome views. So Jay's doing some last minute setups. Putting the jacks down. Did you put the boards down on there? Uh, yeah. That kind of gives it a little extra sta sta stability. Ugh, kills me that I have to go to work. But because I work, I can enjoy things like this. So I really shouldn't complain about going to work because I'm coming home to the beach. So, heartbreaking to leave the rig, right, honey? Yeah, I mean, she's parked, she's ready to go, and uh, hopefully you'll get back in time. You'll have a few hours of daylight when you get home. I plan on it. I, um, I'm going to make a doctor's appointment for my earache and see if I can get in today. Then I've got a bunch of minor things I have to do, but there's a lot of stuff that I can do remotely. I just need Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's always an issue with us. Yeah. So, um... Always, always a huge issue not having Wi-Fi because I could easily sit and work on my scheduling from here. So I walked from the campground to, I guess, um, this is the beginning of the boardwalk area in Hampton. And it's a nice walk from the campground. I mean, it's not hard at all. Now, when I've done it 
on, on the beach. Obviously, walking on the sand is hotter than the pavement. But I didn't know how cold and windy it was going to be down there, so I opted for the pavement. So we decided just to walk down to the Lady by the Sea. I love this spot on the beach. It's a nice little walk from the campground, and it gave me some exercise and just... I was just able to enjoy it. It was windy, but it was warm, and it was nice. And, you know, I went on to the doctors today and put me on some medication, told me to rest, mm -hmm. but this is restful for me. So I woke up this morning, and I could hear the tide coming in, and I could hear the sky rats. Those are actually called seagulls, but we call them sky rats flying around. There was one that landed on the roof of the motorhome. <clears throat> So I'm sure there'll be sky rat caca up there. But, um, and, you know, while the amenities of where I'm at is the ocean and it isn't necessarily the campground itself because, you know, you're in a strip along the Hampton Harbor and the mouth of the ocean, I'm going to turn the camera around so that maybe you can see a little bit about what I'm talking about. So I'm inside and showed you a little bit of this yesterday but um, I have my screen closed so you're seeing the obstruction but right there I mean that is let's see if I can uh, that's no good that is the mouth that's the ocean that's the Atlantic Ocean so for me to walk down to that jetty is probably I don't know maybe a five minute walk depending on how quick I go but all the seagulls are out there and you know it's it's just it's just really, really pretty. The tide is in, and you can see a fisherman going out. I think it's around 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm getting ready to head to, to Portsmouth. But I just wanted to share a little bit of my view with you all. And that's really why Jay and I love coming here. <laughs> so we do. We're, we're both beach babies. Last night I took a long walk. I did go to the doctor. Um, I have a really bad, they could not believe that it was not in a ton of pain. And I was explaining to him the only time it really hurt is when I touched it or I slept on it. And I really thought it was just going to get better and go get better on its own. Anyways, my eardrum is quite inflamed, quite infected. It was to the degree that eardrops wouldn't help me. Even, you know, even antibiotic type eardrops, very expensive eardrops wouldn't help. So I'm on a high, high dose of an antibiotic and I have to watch the side effects. I'm supposed to rest <laughs> and I'm heading to work. So yeah, but from here, it's going to take me, I'm going to Portsmouth today. So it's probably going to take me 20 minutes to get up to Portsmouth if there's any traffic, if that. So it's actually closer for me to go to work in Portsmouth when I'm at the beach than it is when I'm at home and I go to Londonderry because my Londonderry drive is about 35 minutes, depending on traffic. My ears bother me, so I'm going to start picking on it. I just realized the only sunblock I have with me is my body sunblock. I don't have any of my Australian gold. I have no idea how that happened. I think I might have to go to the store on my way home from work. I'm a klutz. So I did, I stopped in Ulta, and they had buy one, get the other half off, so I did that, plus I had a coupon. And then, oh, you know what, I mean, I really didn't need this, but I was really intrigued by this trio. I do like the 24-7 Urban Decay. Um, it stays right on my eyes really nice. So it got Perversion, Rockstar, and Midnight Cowboy. <laughs> Oh well, now I'm going to walk the beach. Fully protected with sunblock and a visor. I was really surprised that there wasn't a whole lot of people on the beach. I mean, there were some people out enjoying it. But for such a warm, beautiful, sunny day in May after the winter we've had, I would have thought the place would have been just packed. But I just so enjoyed walking the beach. I think I did about four and a half miles round trip in the sand with my toes in the ocean. When I go back to the campsite, I sat in my lounge chair and just watched boats go out of the harbor and vegged out listening to a true crime podcast. 
I am addicted to podcasts. So, hey guys, yeah, I'm home. It's Friday. The motorhome is still at the beach. I, yesterday afternoon, yesterday I had to work, Thursday I had to work, so I came down to London Derry and I taught all day and I've been sick with the earache as, as many of you have heard me complain and uh, you know the, the antibiotic has just made me sicker. It's clearing up the earache and my eardrum hasn't burst, came close, but it's clearing it all up. But it, it's just making me sick. So I've been taking uh, a probiotic along with it and trying to eat really carefully to try to just really nurture it so that it does get better. So anyways, I came home yesterday because I had to do teach all day, shop, uh, and get probiotic and all that stuff. I And it rained in the afternoon, so I decided I was just going to stay home for the night. So hence, I'm in my bathroom this morning. And I'm getting ready to go to London Dairy for the day, and then Jay and I tonight will will go to the beach. But when I was shopping yesterday, there's a couple of things that I did. I went into Walgreens, and I because last time I was in Walgreens, they had an awesome sale on my Boots Number no. Seven Lift and Luminate. That's the foundation I really really like in wheat, and I bought the last one. And so they still have the sale going on. So I'm really concerned that they're going to discontinue the line. And I said, oh, no, because normally it's like $14.99, depending on where you buy it full price. And when you can get it at $8.99, $7.99, you know, or buy one, get the other free, it, it's phenomenal. But when you start to see that kind of a price on it, it really concerns me. So I thought, holy cow. So I decided I was going to try a different shade. And I ended up buying Honey, which is what I have on today. So I'm wearing Honey. I'm not too sure I'm liking it or not. It's more of a, um, I think it has more of a golder color than my wheat does. So maybe, maybe it's okay. But I got color matched with the wheat and it seems to work perfectly for my skin. But I thought for the summer I would try the honey and the wheat, maybe mix them, see how I do. The other thing I bought, and, and I know I showed this earlier, I'm on a do not buy unless I absolutely need it. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, I went into Ulta to buy my um, sunblock because, yeah, you know, I went to the beach and I forgot my face sunblock. I mean, really, how, how intelligent is that? So I went to Ulta and, of course, they had the Urban Decay. I really like the, the Glide-On pencils and I like the one that I use for my waterline and the eyeliner. They're expensive, so I don't always use them. Sephora has another brand. I also like some of the Rimmel's, but the Urban Decay on my waterline at least, and on my eye lids, it just stays on. It stays on all day. It's sweat proof for me, for my eyelids. So I really, really like it, as expensive as it is. Well, they had this 24-7 trio, uh, Glide On, and I, for $30. So plus I had my coupon, plus I had some points. So I ended up buying it. And these were the three, the three colors that I have on. I bought Persuasion, Rockstar, and Midnight Cowboy are the three shades. So I have the, the Rockstar one. It's sort of like a, a, a purpley color, but not really purple, purple, purple. Not a Marlene and Fab and Glam purple, but more of a subtle purplishy shade. So purplishy brown. So I have that on today. I'm going to work, so I'm not going to, you know, you. I just... You know, I can't go like, boom, boom, like I'm going to a party when I go to work, much as I'd like to. I can't. So I have this on today. I'll see how it lasts. But yesterday, I wore the darker one. And the, the darker one is the, per, I, did I say persuasion? I meant perversion. <laughs> perversion. This is a black, a shade of a black. A little bit lighter, I think, than my legend that I have. And all three of these have a slight bit of a gl glow or glitter, a shimmer maybe, a shimmer, a gentle shimmer. This one is kind of really cool. I ended up putting this like right on the inner inner uh, part of my eyes. I really like it. So I'm going to just put it on my... You do have to be careful with these soft pencils because the tip really can break easy. And I don't like that. These are the three that I put on. The darkest one is in the middle. I know you can't really see. So I have the, this is the Persuasion, and this is the Rockstar, the more purpley one. Can you see that? 
and then the lighter one. And so I just think they're really pretty. And if the holding power, if the staying power is indeed 24-7, if it's as good as what I'm liking, I'm really going to like that. So that's what I kind of, I bought. So my new, new foundation color, we'll see how that works. And then I ended up picking up, I ordered these off of Amazon, um, a big more curls. You know, I'm struggling with the longer hair. I'm struggling with the style. So that's what I did. So now I'm heading to, I'm going to finish the rest of my look. I'm heading to Londonderry and I'm going to work all day. And then Jay and I are going to the beach and I'll probably end the vlog and upload this hopefully sometime this weekend for you guys. And, um, and then continue on with next time. So I truly appreciate every single one of you watching. Thank you all so much. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I truly appreciate every single one of you. I know I say that over and over again, but I really, really do. Thank you, and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye, guys.